on this Ascension Day, I greet you in the name of God, our Father, and our Lord Jesus Christ. There is a very real sense in which Ascension Day is the most important day in the Christian calendar. Certainly, if it were not for the Ascension of Jesus, we would most probably not know about Christianity. Historians may have discovered about a Jewish sect led by Jesus of Nazareth who died for what he believed. The fact that Jesus was born into this world as the Son of God is very important, as is his crucifixion and then his resurrection on that first Easter Sunday. All these events happen at a specific time in history and in a particular geographical area in the Middle East. They were tied down in space and time. However, the fact that Jesus then ascended to heaven, meaning that he returned to the Father from whom he came, and to the Holy Spirit, who was then sent amongst us, takes all these important events right out of the limitations of time and space and makes them relevant in all time and everywhere. Wow! And so to quote Jesus from the last verses of Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, verse 16 to 20, then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teach them to obey everything I have commanded you and surely I will be with you always to the very end of the age. All authority has been given to me. Some of us are not good at being under authority. We often rebel against it. Others feel comfortable under it. I had a very important learning experience way back in 1968 when I was minister in Fishhook. Two of our older children got the mumps and I got it with a vengeance. One of our senior ministers, Douglas Crawford of Mowbray Church, came to see me. He felt safe as he had had the mumps. After chatting and praying with me, he ordered me to stay in bed or else I might have a relapse. The problem was we were building our new church building and I wanted to conduct the last service in the hall before we moved into the new church. So after he left, I thought to myself, nobody tells me what to do. I'll be okay. And I'll get up for that last service in the hall. But then I thought, that's actually not true. I just see a traffic cop and I take my foot off the accelerator, even if I'm within the speed limit. I listen to Jeanette sometimes, even sometimes to my children. And if I am a Christian, I ought to listen to Jesus. I ought to come under his authority in every aspect of life. Yes, in my home, in my calling as a minister, my vocation, in my leisure, in my community, 
even in those three areas where some people believe that preachers should not meddle, namely money, sex and politics. Jesus needs to control the whole of my life from one end to the other. That is what it means to be saved, converted, born again. To be a Christian is to be under the control, the authority of the Son of God, the Saviour of the world. There could be nothing better in life for me than that, to be a part of his perfect plan for me. Oh, I know, I and probably many of us in one way or another break away from his authority and take the broad, easy road. But, thank God, he forgives us when we repent, turn around and come back under his authority to take the straight and narrow way which is his. Remember, he said, I am the way, the truth and the life. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of yourself in Jesus Christ, your Son. For his birth into our world, his life and teaching, and his love which led to that most sacrificial act of love on the cross, his amazing resurrection and victory over evil and death itself, and his glorious ascension, which brings all of this into our lives today, wherever we are in your world. Lord God, help us to place ourselves totally under the authority of Jesus, following his plan for our lives, and to stay under that authority and within his plan. Amen. Go now under the authority of Jesus Christ, obedient to his command to love one another as he has loved us. Amen. Amen.